Thank you very much for purchasing our 600 Honda Shadow Bobber Kits. Uh, I'm going to go over some items on this that are really important uh, to installing the kit, so I want you to pay close attention to this. Uh, first of all, we're running a 419 Coker uh, Firestone Deluxe on the front of our bike. You can't run the stock fender with that tire, but if you run the stock size, you can. So anyway, that's a 4.00-19 Firestone Deluxe from Coker Tire, at C-O-K-E-R. And then I'm going to go over a few of the items on this that are very important, so pay attention. We'll continue on. Okay, I'm going to just go over the, uh, the place where you cut the rear passenger support off the back of the motorcycle here. That's the part that scares people the most, and we want to make sure that you get the cuts in the right place. So uh, pay attention to the spring seat uh, video, and it'll show you exactly how to do it. But anyway, sorry for waving that in front of you there. But anyway, you've got this gauge in your kit, and the bend goes like that when you bolt it to the, to the gas tank. So it goes up. That way it'll, it'll match up with the back of the cut area there. And then these are the air, these are the pieces that you're going to install in the frame after you get this uh, cut. Uh, now we, we put a taper on this so that you can, they will move back and forth like this a little bit. And if you notice, you want to make this cut per, pretty much perpendicular to this line right here. That's the piece that you're going to bolt on there to the, the, the this piece will actually ultimately uh, fasten to. And then you're going to go ahead and drill the hole. Oh, one thing too, when you drill this hole, uh, make sure you hold this bracket in place so that it doesn't move out as you drill into that uh, black bracket right there. But I just kind of wanted to show you this real quick. I've moved, removed this uh, signal light just so you can see the detail there. And then the other thing I wanted to emphasize is this bracket right here. Now what this is, this is the front uh, mount for the rear fender. And you'll notice this new, br the new bracket, it's a little different than the one that you'll see in the video. It has the cut right here. That allows you to put your fender uh, on the bra bracket without taking that nut all the way off. So that's kind of a nice little feature that we added. And then one other thing too, uh, I didn't clarify it very well at the first of the installation there, but the, the, these bushings go like this and then the shock mount is in between these two bushings right there. So as you put that in there, pay that attention to that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that you want to do these cuts before you put this bracket on. That way you can get the, get down in there and put this bracket on. But you want to put this bracket on before you continue putting this piece on. Because once this piece is on, it's going to be hard to get this in. So go ahead and make your cuts and then put this bracket on and then that's a good sequence to follow. And then another thing I wanted to point out is the uh, we've numbered the, the items on your, on your uh, menu there on the video. Uh, We've kind of done that just to give you an idea of the sequence of events. You don't have to stick to that, but if you kind of follow that guideline for those numbers, that should make it a little easier to uh, install the kits. Let's continue on here. Okay, a couple of quick things before you get started on the uh, rest of the bike. Uh, if you're uh, a little large person like me, I, I would actually want these springs up a little higher. So if you call us, we can send you a longer bolt with some, with some washers, and that'll jack the, the back of the seat up just a little bit. We kind of geared this for the average weight person, so just keep that in mind when you're riding it. it, although it should come out feeling pretty good. And then the other thing I want to emphasize uh, really a lot is these. Uh, make sure you put Loctite on these screws here. That's really important. So go ahead and follow the rest of the introduction, and then we'll go ahead and get started on this bad boy. Sorry about that. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, make sure you grab one of these little mechanics roll around chairs. It makes the working on your bike so much more fun and easier on your back and everything. So get a, a roll around chair. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is the side covers. That's these side covers. We furnish those in uh, matte black. If your bike is uh, a gloss finish, they might look a little flat, so you can go uh, go ahead and just scuff them a little bit and then spray them with some gloss black paint. It should stick really well to that uh, kind of matte finish. We at Blue Collar Bobbers are always striving to uh, improve our products, so this uh, first portion of the video will be to show you uh, our latest and greatest uh, improvements we've made uh, over time here. So anyway, let's get started on it. Uh, first thing we didn't mention at first on the main video is to go ahead and tie your kickstand like this. 
uh, it's really important because if you're working on your bike and you accidentally like roll your bike forward, it could actually collapse the kickstand and fall over. So it's real important to tie this kickstand up before you get started. So do that and then we'll uh, show you the improvements we've made. Okay, the next thing we did to change it and make it much easier on you is to uh, weld. We welded the nut on the back side of these struts right here like this. If you'll notice in the main video, you have to go ahead and put a, a nut underneath the fender. It's kind of cumbersome and everything, so we went the extra mile and, and uh, we welded the nut on the underside of the strut. So go ahead and mount it the same way, went it under the uh, fender the same way, but now all you'll have to do is just run the screw into the strut and it'll, it'll work out really nicely for you. And then make sure you, on, when you finally do it for the final time, make sure you put plenty of Loctite on these screws because you don't want those to vibrate and come loose. So anyway, oh, and then one other thing too, you probably don't need the star washer anymore. I don't think it's necessary on a new aluminum fender, so let's continue on. Okay, this is our new aluminum fender that you received in your kit. Uh, if you'll notice, it has either the gray uh, uh, powder coat primer on it. It's kind of pebbly, so all you have to do on these fenders is just sand that smooth with some like wet or dry, real fine 320 to 500 grit sandpaper. I just sand that to where it's smooth and all those little bumps are gone, and then it should be ready to paint. And uh, if you've got the bare metal one, you'll have to go ahead and do whatever you uh, decide to do on that one. So anyway, and then the other thing we want to point out here is the uh, we still recommend using the reinforcement straps just like this. So go ahead and silicone those in just like the video shows on the fiberglass fender. Uh, we supply the nut uh, in the kit and then go ahead and just use the, the uh, mountings uh, bolt that we, that's in the strut to hold it in there. And go ahead and put silicone under this. Let it dry overnight, just like we do on the fiberglass one. The reason you do that is uh, it'll bond this to the fender, make it a little stronger. And also, if you ever take your fender off, that, stru that uh, strap will stay in place. And then also, uh, go ahead and do the same thing on the front. Just drill holes and silicone and everything, just like we show on the fiberglass one. So anyway, there we go. There's the cool aluminum fenders. Awesome.